Hello everyone, my name is Arava. I study in 4th grade. I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in the history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of a nation. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree is the great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous rebreak. The end, the long nights of their captivity, but 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. 100 years later, the life of the Negro is badly crippled by the menaces of segregation and the times of discrimination. 100 years later, the Negro lives in a lonely island of their poverty, in the midst of, in the midst of a vast ocean in the material law. Material prosperity. 100 years later, the Negro is languished by the corners of American society and finds fi and finds himself from exile in his own land. So we have come here to dramatize a shameful condition. I say to you today, my friends thought, even thought, we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in American dream. I have, a, I have a dream that this nation will rise up and its true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be a self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on red hills of Gorgia, sons, sons of farmer and sons of farmer slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi states will drink with the heat of injustice. Sweltering with the heat of oppression will be trans transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children live in a nation where they will not just by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream that one day in Alabama, with its vicious receipts, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of transforming and nullification, one day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sister and brother. I have a dream today. This will be the same when all of God's children will be able to sit down together, uh, able to, to sing with new meaning. The land where my father died, the land of pilgrims pride from every mountainside. Let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from every hill and molehill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. When we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every city and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands to and sing in the words of the old Negro spirit. Free at last, free at last, great God, a mighty we are free at last. Thank you.